Hi, this is Tracy Nappi with Genesis Blogging, and this is a quick tutorial on how to insert and link to a PDF file all from within your WordPress dashboard area. Um, and this same actual principle would also apply if you wanted to upload and insert and link to an Excel spreadsheet or a Microsoft Word document or really any other type of file or document like that that you might need to upload to your site and link to from within a blog post or a blog page. So this will bypass you needing to go in and log in via an FTP program or log in via your cPanel and go in through a file manager and come up with and try to figure out what your um, URL to that file is or whatever there is a way for you to do this all from within your uh, WordPress um, dashboard area so let me show you how to do that um, I already have a blog post up here that I have started and it's actually going to be the blog post where this video is going to be located so you'll notice here you've got the upload and you've got the insert area and this is of course where you would add an image this is where you would add a video this is where you would add audio this is where you would add media. You want to click Add Media. And this is where you can select files and you want to find your PDF file on your computer. So you select that and um, then it's going to find it so you can find whatever you want on your computer and you want to browse your computer and find the file that you want to upload. Okay, I selected one I wanted to upload, and it is, um, you know, uploading that. It's there. Okay, now then, this you've got some options that um, for you to enter in. The title is whenever they mouse over the link. That's there's a, like little text that'll pop up. This is what you would enter in for that. Now, one school of thought is to enter in the actual title whatever it's called um, in this case this I'm, I'm uploading the um, Twitter 101 for business PDF file okay you can just enter in the actual name of the PDF file or the document um, you could actually enter in a SEO um, in quotes um, keyword phrase that is relevant to your document. So for example, um, if I had done some keyword research and found a keyword phrase that would be applicable to this particular document that I'm uploading, I could enter in that keyword phrase if it was applicable to the document that I was actually uploading. You could enter that in so that when it was moused over, it would pop up the keyword phrase, but it needs to be one keyword phrase and it needs to be applicable to the document that you're actually uploading. Not saying that's gonna get you ranked up there number one because you added a keyword phrase in your title element. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all, it's a title tag. Um, I'm just saying, you know, um, if it's applicable to the, you know, to what it is that you are uploading, that keyword phrase is relevant to that. Certainly that is an appropriate use of a keyword phrase in this instance, because that's going to help people find the information that they're looking for that would be within the document that you're uploading. That's the purpose of keyword phrases, to help people find the information that you're looking for. So it would be relevant and appropriate to use it for a title tag in a document in this situation. Now here, the link URL, it's automatically linking to the document that you uploaded. You don't want to change that. You want to link because you want to link to the document you just uploaded. That's the purpose of uploading it. So you want to leave it just as it is. And then you just click Insert it into Post. Now, um, you'll notice here that Twitter 101 for Business is the name that is linked. So that is the anchor text. Okay, so if I would have entered in a keyword phrase, that phrase is what would be linked directly to my document that I just uploaded. So it makes it, it becomes the anchor text at that point. So that is it.
that's literally all you have to do then you would just publish your post and it would be on the web and people would then be able to go and click that link and um, I can save this as a draft and I can go preview it and you can go see what it looks like okay, let's go preview it on the web there it is see and if you mouse over you can see down in the uh, status bar down there it's linking to the PDF file and if I click the link it's going to open up the PDF file Ta -da! there we go that's it that's how you do it that's how you link to um, a PDF file or a word uh, document an Excel spreadsheet anything like that anything that you know that you would need to link to within a document that's how you would upload it all from within your WordPress dashboard you want to use this media as upload and insert media um, icon right here that's how you would do it pretty easy so there you have it Talk to you soon.